everybody, it's your man Fitman, head performance coach right here at the Fitman Performance Center. And today's topic, we're going to get into what carbs should you eat before and after you work out. Now, if you know anything about me, you know that I am a major proponent of athletes, lifters, and trainees putting a big priority on their pre and post workout nutrition. When you skip these meals or you skimp on these meals, you are taking the sawed off shoddy and you're blasting yourself in the foot when it comes to getting results in the game. Now, when it comes to your pre-workout meal, the purpose of that is to give yourself, to give your body the proper fuel that's needed to get through a strenuous workout. Your post-workout meal, the purpose of that is to give your body the fuel to help you recover from that strenuous workout. So let's talk about the types of carbs that we need to eat before and after we work out. Now the first thing that we'll look at is the carbs that you want to eat before you train. You're going to put the focus on eating complex carbs. Now complex carbs digest a bit slower in your system and they give you a longer lasting form of energy in comparison to simple carbs. So when it comes to complex carbs, you're looking at your brown rices of the world, you're looking at your sweet potatoes of the world, you're looking at your oats of the world. When you eat these things pre-workout along with a source of protein, then you're gonna be giving yourself the proper fuel needed to get through hard workouts. You see, the whole point of training isn't just to show up and do a bad workout or an average workout. The point of training is to make progress, to move forward. If you show up with no gas in the tank when it's time to train, then I can promise you that all of the results and all the hope you had is just gonna be going down the drain. So you've gotta really put a focus on eating the right foods and eating the right carbohydrates before you work out. Now when it comes to post-workout, the goal is now recovery. The goal is getting the carbohydrates into your system faster. And this is when you're gonna put the focus on simple carbohydrates. Simple carbohydrates like jasmine rice or simple carbohydrates like russet potatoes. These get into your bloodstream faster and they start the recovery process faster. And along with those simple carbohydrates, you're also going to have a source of protein. Pre-workout, that protein minimizes muscle breakdown during your workout. Post-workout, that protein allows you to rebuild the muscle that you just broke down. This is one of the keys to seeing real progress in the game, y'all. You've gotta put a priority on your pre and post workout nutrition. If you're eating nothing going into a, a workout, then it's a waste of time. If you're eating nothing after your workout, it's a waste of time. You're making it much harder to see the results that you want to see. You cannot separate nutrition from the results that, that you want to get in the training game. You've got training, you've got nutrition, and you've got recovery. They're all tied together. You can't separate one and just not do it or do it at a poor level and expect to have great results. So what I'm gonna do to help you out, in the link, I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video. I've got an article on this exact topic. What carbs should you eat before and after you work out? I want you to check that out. I'll leave another link the simple meal plan for fat loss, I want you to check that out. And when you start to maximize your nutrition and really start to focus on it, and really start to see that it is an important part, whether you are trying to build muscle or lose body fat, then you're gonna start to see the results that you want to see. Stop settling for bad workouts. Stop rushing to the gym on no gas. Give yourself more time in your day to allow yourself to have that pre and post workout meal. You may need to take your lunch or take your pre-workout meal with you to work and take your post-workout meal with you to work. Yes, it's gonna require you to do some extra cooking at home, but guess what? 
Success requires struggle. Success requires sacrifice. And success requires discipline. And if you're not willing to make any sacrifices or be disciplined, then you can just kiss your goals goodbye. They will never happen. Thanks for checking out the video. It's your man, Fit Man. Holla at a trainer when you see me at the center.